Lakshana Sanskrit, Laksana Laksana derived from the combination of words Lakshya and Kshana, means indication or symptom. It also means an auspicious mark, attribute or quality. In Tamil language, Lakshanam means features. Sulakshana means good features. Grammatical implication In Viradaraja's Laghakomudi Saint 210, on the following Pananiya Sukta I I.62 on Sanskrit grammar, which reads Pratyayalop Pratyayalakshanam states that when elision of an affix has taken place, the affix shall still exert its influence, and the operations dependent upon it will take place as if it were present. He explains that the word, lakshana, signifies that by which a thing is recognized, and the word, lopa signifies the elision i.e. substitution of a blank, in which regard Sakalya had suggested certain optional substitutions as stated in Sukta 8. .ie.19. Vardaraja draws attention to Panini's statement referred to at Saint 152 to the effect that after whatsoever there is an affix enjoined, let what begins therewith, in the form in which it appears when the affix follows it, be called an inflective base e.g. in the case of addressing two or more persons of the same name, say, Rama, the Ramas need not be addressed as O2 Ramas but the S is to be dropped without change in meaning intention and addressed as O Rama which would suffice the intended purpose. Topic. Religious and ethical implication Vyasa Bhashya explains that in the smallest particle of time or k-shane of the whole universe undergoes a change. Each moment or particle of time is only the manifestation of that change, and time does not have a separate existence. Appearance is called dharma, and the arrangement of objects or qualities is called dharman. The change of appearance is called dharma parinama, which has two aspects: lakshana parinama and avistha parinama, which are not intrinsically different. Lakshana parinama considers three stages of an appearance, viz. A, the unmanifested when it exists in the future; b, the manifested moment of the present; and c, the past when it has been manifested, lost to view but preserved and retained in all the onward stages of evolution. Avistha parinama is change of condition which is not materially different from lakshana parinama and hence its mode, it is on account of this that an object is called new or old, grown or decayed. It is the nature of the gunas that there cannot remain even a moment without the evolutionary changes of dharma, lakshana and avistha, for movement is the characteristic of the gunas whose nature is the cause of constant movement, which changes the mind also experiences in accordance with its two qualities visible and invisible. The visible qualities are those whose changes can be noticed as conscious states or thought products or precepts, whereas the invisible qualities are those whose changes can only be established by inference. There is an order in all successive changes Vikaspati in his Tattva-Vevasarati, 3.15, Dharma, which provides security, peace and well-being, is concerned equally to the individual and his other worldly interests and to the worldly interest of the individual, family and society. Dharma embraces man's life as a whole. The two goals of man's individual and collective existence signified by the words abudaya prosperity and nisrayasa necessaries are attained by following a twofold dharma one pravriti lakshana dharma religion of action that is characterized by action and two nivriti lakshana dharma religion of renunciation which is characterized by freedom from action topic <laughs> <laughs> philosophical implication Advaita Vedanta refers to the three meanings that all words and sentences carry, the primary or direct meaning, the implied meaning and the suggested meaning. The implied meaning, known as lakshana, is of three kinds, jahalakshana which consists in discarding the direct meaning in favor of the indirect or implied meaning, ajahalakshana in which the direct meaning is not completely given up and the real meaning is hinted, and jahajahalakshana which consists in giving up a part of the direct meaning and retaining the other part. Thus, the word, that, of the Mahavakya, Tat Tvam Asi primarily refers to the Saguna Brahman or Ishvara, and the word, thou, primarily to the Jiva, the individual soul. The direct sense points to the identity of between Ishvara and Jiva. The implied meaning reveals that Ishvara and Jiva are the result of ignorance and the imposition of the unreal on the real when, that, refers to the Nirguna Brahman, the pure consciousness who is absolute and without attributes and, thou, refers to self or Atman, the pure consciousness which is the reality underlying the mind-body complex. 
It is according to the third Lakshana that the identity of Brahman and Atman is established, that these two words in their implicit sense point to the same reality, that Brahma Anubhava is the non-dual experience of the soul reality. <laughs> Lakshana Niyanam of classical music The student of classical music, after faithfully evaluating the effect of listening and observation as aids for sadhana, strives to study the role of acquiring lakshana niyanam theoretical knowledge as an aid to lakshya sadhana practical attainment in order to uplift knowledge of music gained and realizing its practical utilities, applications. Mere theoretical knowledge, the arahana and avarahana of araga is not lakshana niyanam, for the body is first formed and only thereafter infused with life. Lakshya target or aim to be accomplished is based on kalpana imagination inspiration and lakshana is like grammar the former is not clear without the latter the knowledge of lakshana is essential for lakshya sadhana topic <laughs> prognostic implication in matters pertaining to the prediction of future events the word lakshana means a mark or an omen in this system, eight different methods are employed Anga limbs Anga Shastra, which takes into account different parts of the body Svapna dream, by which one's press dreams Swar sound attaches importance to utterances by birds and animals Bomi attitude refers to one's behavior, walk, posture etc. Vyanjana birthmarks refers to birthmarks such as moles, spots etc. Lakshana omen. Utpath catastrophe refers to phenomena such as earthquake, volcanic eruption, etc., and Antariksha heavenly, on the appearance of comets, circle round the moon, etc. According to numerology, numbers pregnant with more than one meaning and significance indicate the course of future events. According to Anga Ranga, a very ancient method, women are divided into four distinct classes of temperament that correspond to the four phases of liberation. Moksa. See also Maha Laksana, Great Laksana, Physical Characteristics of the Buddha. Topic References. Topic External Links. Diction of a Play, Laksana, Chapter 17 of the Natyasastra.